guys, welcome back to my channel. Princess the Artist here. And if you are new to my channel, hi, how are you? Welcome in. So today's video is going to be based on a date night look. Um, if you're wanting a look that's more flirty, um, definitely something that's going to be a little bit more romantic look. Definitely, this is the video for you. Also, if you want to be in the know when I will upload new videos, definitely subscribe, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell, and you will be in the know when I upload a new video. Alrighty, so, and also, side note, I will be sharing some tips and some tricks on different little techniques that you can do with your makeup as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the makeup. Okay, so my eyebrows are already filled in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with the face primer. This primer is called the Painterly Paint Pot. This one's from MAC. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this on both of my eyes. And I'm just pretty much putting this all over my eyelid. And also in my crease. Same way on this side, I'm just pretty much applying the eye primer all over the lid and also I'm going to put it all in my crease as well, which that's also called your socket. I'm going to put it all right here. Okay, so next I'm actually going to be using my Studio Fix Powder. Um, this is actually my skin tone. This is in the color NW43. I'm actually going to use this right in my crease all over here. Or you can actually use any eyeshadow that's more of a transition color if you like. So I'm just using this all over my crease. So now we're moving on to our second color and this color you can actually use all over in your crease or you can kind of use it like midway but I'm actually going to take my second color all over in my crease here okay okay so I will be using the Juvia's Masquerade palette I'm going to be using this one today and I will be using this color here Okay. I'm going to use the same exact brush that I did on the first color. I'm going to use it in my second color. Still all in my crease here. And I'm just going in circular motions all around my crease. Okay, so now I'm going to do this eye next. Same exact color I did on this side. I'm going to put it all around in my crease as well. This is the second color. And I'm just blending this all over the crease. Okay, so now we're ready for our lid color, which is going to be here at the bottom. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've done this on one of my videos in the past. So I'm actually going to create this as a halo eye to where your actual color that's going to be on your lid is really going to be more into the center here. But it's really going to make the eye really pop out and really give a really pretty romantic look, especially when we add the lashes. So I'm actually going to go back with the eye primer in Painterly from MAC, and I'm actually going to apply this onto my lid here, okay? I'm going to be using a flat concealer brush, this one. This one is from Morphe, I believe. I got this. Um, but any flat concealer brush like this one will be great. Um, also, you want to make sure that your bristles are going to be really, really thin like this. Um, that way you'll get more of a precise um, halo, especially because you want to make those lines as straight as you can when you're applying your product. Okay. 
So first I just pretty much put this all over the middle of my eyelid just to start off. Okay. All right. So now we're going to create a line that's pretty much going to be in the socket or you can put it above like above your crease up here. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit above my crease. I'm going to create a line here. I'm using like the tip of the brush or the side of the top to create it. Okay. And just like that. Remember you want to put your eye primer in the middle of the eyelid. It makes it easier when you're starting a um, halo eye. And then all you're doing is bringing this part of the eye primer and you're gonna bring it upward. But you're using what's already left or what's already on your eye to bring it up. And just pretty much created my line here Okay, and then I'm just going to bring it downward. To like fade on the side here between the primer and the eyeshadow that you have here. What I do is I clean off the brush or whatever product that was on it, the eye primer. After you clean it off, I pretty much kind of press it that line here that you can see i press on that line and it'll fade these two colors together okay or you can kind of go like in a backward and forward back and forth type of way you can go in a back and forth type of way either way and it'll help fade this part so it won't be a harsh line okay Okay, so now we are ready for our third color, which is going to be right here in the middle where we put the eye primer, okay? So I'm going to be going in with the Juvia's Place palette again using this pretty pearl color. So I'm pretty much pressing this onto the eyelid or everywhere that you applied the primer for your eyelid you're going to press it because by pressing it is going to allow the product to actually sit where you want it to go. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to go back into the same color that we use in our crease. Here are the Juvia's Place palette again. We're going to be using this color again. We're going to actually apply that color right here in the inside of the eye and the outer part of the eye. Okay? Okay, so now we're going to be using this blending brush. You can use any blending brush that you have at home, but I'm going to be using this one. This one is from MAC. This is the 286 brush. I'm actually going to be using this color to apply the crease color once again on the eye. So I'm just going like in a circular motion here. So you're circling inward because you want your color to go inward not outward for this look all right so just put just enough here and you can build up however much color that you want on your ends and also in your um tear duct as well you can build it up if this is an okay amount that's fine if you want to build it add more product so now i'm going to do my inner and I'm still going in a circular motion, just in a circular motion. So it's already pretty much building it, the look for you. 
So I'm doing the same thing on this side. Buffing in your color on the end of the eye, but buffing inward. Blending, meaning buffing inward into the eye. Okay, so the look is definitely coming out very pretty. Okay, so this look is gorgeous, but sometimes if when doing a halo, sometimes if too much color overtook the center of the color here, and you wanna kind of bring that center color back, you can, no worries. So you'll go back with your flat concealer brush, go back in the same color that you used on your lid, and you'll just pretty much just lightly press using very little product. Go ahead and press in the center, right in the center. And it'll just lightly bring back some of that color that you originally put on your eyelid. So I'm going to just put a little bit more on this side too. Just to bring back more of that eyeshadow. So now your colors really stand out okay so now we're just going to go ahead and apply some mascara okay so the mascara i'm going to use is from benefit cosmetics it's called they're real i absolutely love this mascara this is probably like my i don't know probably fifth sixth time using it and i really really like it it takes a lot for me to really like a mascara side note but i really do like this one so we're going to go ahead and apply this one on your lashes Okay, so now our mascara is on. I like this mascara. Another side note about this mascara that I do like from Benefit Cosmetics is that it doesn't clump whatsoever. So it really gives your lashes more of like length and really kind of spreads them out a little bit. So that's what I really pretty much like about this, um, this mascara, so. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and move on and just go ahead and put some lashes on. I'm gonna do it off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now the next step that I'm actually gonna use, I'm gonna use a color corrector. This one's from MAC, this one's called Peach Luster. So color correctors are really great, um, pretty much for any imperfections, um, any dark circles, you pretty much just wanna cover that so it just pretty much picks up unwanted color. And you pretty much put your concealer or foundation or both on top and it completely erases the imperfection away. So we're gonna go ahead and put this underneath. Now this is optional um, for those of you guys who do not need a color corrector. If you don't, you can skip this part, but I'm gonna put a little bit on underneath my eyes. Just a little bit, you don't need too much, friend. Just a little bit. And just that little bit may look like a lot of me putting it on, but it really isn't. I'm just spreading that little out. Because remember, liquid is pretty much spreadable. Okay. So now I'm going to take my beauty blender. You can use any beauty blender, um, but I'm going to be using this one. I got this one. I want to say I got this from Sephora. Really, really nice beauty blender. I've been having it for a good little minute and I cannot live without it. I do have many colors, but I mostly use this one. So you wanna use the comb part of um, your beauty blender to press out any colors, or I'm sorry, any uh, products that's gonna be underneath your eyes, whether it's concealer, whether it's powder or foundation, either way. Now, yeah, you can use a brush um, you can use like a flat, bigger foundation brush, um, or you can use a concealer brush. Either way, but I'm going to use this guy, okay? So I'm just pressing this into my skin. And then I just like to take it around my nose area a little bit. That's optional. You don't have to do that. 
something on this side, I'm just pressing it out. Okay, so now the next step is going to be using my foundation. You can use any foundation. I'm actually going to be using the Studio Fix Foundation. This one is in the color NC50. This is a full coverage foundation. It's a matte finish. It's a 24-hour wear, and it is a oil control foundation as well. When you first get Studio Fix, if you're new to using it, you do have to shake it up pretty well. It is um, a little bit thicker of a foundation, but for my personal opinion, I like using it because I'm a full coverage kind of girl. Trust me. <laughs> I really don't need full coverage, but I just really like the makeup look. That's just a side note. But if you're going for that look, you can do Studio Fix. Also, um, Too Faced Cosmetics has a great one. Um, Too Faced Born This Way is really, really good. I love their foundations too. I actually use their concealer right now and I absolutely love it. But I also love that foundation. So definitely if you want to go for more of a makeup look, you can use that one. And also um, Beauty Bakery has really great foundation to love 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 them I actually use their setting powders which is awesome so shout out to both of those makeup companies Too Faced and um, Beauty Bakery love you guys love your products I will be shopping with you guys real soon but yeah um, but yes I'm gonna use the Studio Fix so you want to use your beauty blender if you are a beauty blender girl you can still use your beauty blender for applying your foundation you can use the rounder part of it if you prefer a brush you definitely can um you can use a dense brush which of course those are brushes that's soft but they're flat up top and or um some people use more of a flatter foundation brush either way whatever you're actually comfortable with so I just put um, just a generous amount on the sponge and I pretty much press this into my skin. Now you can start from one side of your face and then work your way to the other um, or you can just, you know, maneuver as you go. You know, whatever's comfortable for you. I pretty much go either way, me personally, but you know, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Now, whenever doing it underneath your eyes, putting product underneath your eyes, like we did the color corrector, same exact way we're going to put the foundation on top of the color corrector so it's going to really help kind of cover those areas that you want to cover a little bit more of optional like i said totally optional you just take the comb part and you press it underneath your eyes and this is on top of the actual color corrector So press this all around, all around. And pressing is just allowing the product just to blend in effortlessly, effortlessly <laughs> into your skin. Look at how pretty that foundation is. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, okay, so you know, she looking a little cute. Foundation is on, okay, flawless. All right, so now we're gonna go to the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and start using concealers. So the first concealer that I'm actually going to use is going to be, um, this one's from MAC. This is the 24-hour concealer in NC50. Um, and I mix mine with Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I'm sorry, Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Um, this one's in the color Mocha. So I'm actually just going to apply just a generous amount of both concealers. Okay. 
I also do like underneath my chin, bridging my nose. Just slightly, okay? Now I'm going in with my Too Faced Concealer, Born This Way in Mocha. And then pretty much you're just highlighting um, the high points of the face, underneath the eyes, the nose. You could do the Cupid's bow if you like, um, and also your chin. So I'm just pressing this out onto my eye. Same way on the other side, I'm just pressing this out. And that way it gives you something really pretty. Nice, pretty highlight going on there. Just like that, and then also I'm blending out the concealer on my chin. Now you could use the comb part on this, or you could use the rounder part, either way. Okay, so now I'm gonna start to contour my face. I'm actually gonna use, this one's from MAC as well. This is a Studio Fix foundation, but this one's gonna be in the color NW48. So of course, your contour is supposed to be actually darker than the skin tone. Pretty much contouring is just there to sculpt the face, really give the appearance of high cheekbones if you want to do the cheek area, slimmer nose if you wanna contour your nose, and also, forehead if you just want to kind of simmer it down a little bit okay I always say the nose is always optional you don't have to do your nose if you don't want to like I said it is optional and also for you guys who like to contour underneath around the chin area that part is also optional too it's totally up to you okay so I'm still going to go back with my beauty blender the rounder part when I start my contour so I just started within the perimeter of my head. I started my forehead area. And I just worked my way around. So around in the temple area and then coming into the hollows of your cheek. Hollows of your cheek is actually going to be underneath the cheekbone itself. So this is your bone. You're actually going underneath it. The more you press, the more it's actually going to blend out. Now, side note, if you choose to contour with a brush, you definitely can. A brush that I would definitely recommend you can contour with. You can contour with any um, powder brush. Don't let it be too big, meaning don't let the bristles be like really big, like really, really huge. You don't want to do that. Make sure your bristles are more tighter. Um, it's a little bit more smaller bristles. It may not seem like that brush won't do a lot, but actually it will when contouring. So that part is optional if you're more of a brush girl. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with um, my setting powder, which is gonna be underneath my eyes. This one is from Beauty Bakery Cosmetics. A shout out to you guys. This is in the color um, Plantain. Absolutely love, love, love this setting powder. It really just makes your under eye concealer look really smooth, extra smooth, really effortless. Absolutely love it. So it is a loose powder. So just a generous amount goes a really, really long way. So you really don't need that much, friend, okay? So what you can do is an easier way. You can kind of put a little bit in the cap. Like so just a little bit, you know what I mean? You don't need too much. So just a little bit. You could take your brush um, or you can do a beauty blender, either one, to press it underneath the eyes. And I'm using a color that's gonna keep my concealer, which means 
the, my highlight underneath my eyes. So I'm just pressing this underneath my eyes. All right. So I'm gonna put some a little on my chin too. So pretty much wherever you put your Concealer to highlight is wherever you're going to put your actual setting powder to set the concealers wherever you place them. Put a little bit on my nose too, just right in that center. Okay, so next I'm actually just going to take um, my brush this one is a blush brush this one is from uh, real technique cosmetics I absolutely love them as well love their brushes they're super soft um applied on the skin so they're not rough or anything and i really like that about brushes when your brushes um are actually really soft on your skin so it doesn't feel like it's poking you but either way i love this one she's super super soft so i'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna press it underneath my eyes. Now, the reason why I press it underneath the eyes, like I said, this part is gonna be optional as well. Um, just to make sure it's really good and blended, the setting powder on top of your concealer. And then I just begin to just dust it off. Okay, so now I'm gonna just go in with my powder contour that's gonna be on top of my liquid contour that I did. This one is Studio Fix um, foundation and powder mixed together. Side note, I forgot to say Studio Fix. If it is your first time using a Studio Fix compact from MAC, it will give you um, coverage. So it's mixed with the foundation, it's full coverage. So it can be worn by itself if you like. And of course, in the shade that you are. So, but I'm going to use it as a contour. This is the color NW48. So I'm actually going to be using the same brush I used to dust off um, my highlight underneath my eyes. I just cleaned off the brush. And I'm actually just going to go in a buffing motion all over. On top of where I put my first liquid contour. Now you can go a little bit more heavier on your contour if you like. Of course, I'm just gonna go really subtle. I'm not gonna put too much of the powder contour on top of the liquid. So, yeah. So next, I'm going to be contouring my nose. I'm gonna be using the same blending brush that I used for my crease colors and my eye. I just pretty much cleaned off the brush. And I'm gonna use it in my Studio Fix uh, Powder Plus Foundation in NW48. Next, I'm gonna go in with my MAC blush. This is in Raisin. 
then I'm just gonna pretty much buff this on top of my contour, my cheeks. Now, also side note, um, if you are wanting to learn how to highlight and contour, I do have a video up as well. It's a show and teach if you would like to learn how to highlight and contour as well. So definitely go check that out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my face powder. Um, this one is by Studio Fix again as well. Um, this one is gonna be in the color NW43. I'm actually gonna use this one around just to set my foundation. I'm gonna use the same brush that I actually use for my blush and also for my powder contour. Um, of course, I just cleaned off the products off of the bristles. And I'm just gonna put this all over where my foundation is. So underneath my contour and my blush. Okay, so you can actually put mascara at the bottom or you can leave it plain. Totally up to you since you have lashes on, but you can go either way. And I already put a little bit of a brown eyeliner underneath my eyes just off camera. So now I'm going to go ahead with the lip. Now the lip I'm going to use is definitely going to make a statement, especially since this is a date night video. So I'm actually going to do a really popping red, but I'm actually going to mix my, found, my actual reds together. So the first red that I'm actually going to use is called Carnivorous. This is from MAC. It's a liquid lipstick. Absolutely love a good matte lip. But lately, I have been doing a glossy lip, so I can really go either way. But since for you, this is going to be your date night um, makeup video, so you can really go either way. I'm just going to go for something that's going to be very matte today, okay? I'm actually using the tip of this brush um, to use it as liner for my lips. So also a trick that you can use, um, you can use your flat concealer brush, any flat concealer brush um, that you want to use. Make sure the bristles are small to do this, ne this next technique. Um, so you wanna take your bristles, just pretty much the tip of it, and you really wanna blend out the edges of the lipstick or the liner that you use. Now I'm gonna go in with my red lipstick. This is a little bit more of a brighter red lipstick. Um, this one is Riri Wu. So this is when uh, Rihanna had her collection in MAC years ago. Such a beautiful color that she has. Shout out to Rihanna because I absolutely love, love, love Fenty. <laughs> Such a really pretty red. I love this red. 
that Rihanna came out with with MAC. It's so pretty. So yes, this is the final look. I absolutely love this look. It's absolutely beautiful. Yes, so yeah, you are definitely ready for date night, honey. So, oh yes, so cute. But yes, <laughs> so yeah, this is the final look. Um, it absolutely came out gorgeous, you guys. So this is a really pretty flirty, romantic makeup look that you can do when you go out with your honey, your boo, your babe, okay? So trust me, he would absolutely love this look on you, honey, period. So, <laughs> but yes, ma'am. So this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Um, I absolutely love, love, love this look. I can't stop saying it because girl, this look is cute. But yeah. <laughs> so yes, ma'am. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, you guys. And also I will see you next time. Bye.